So what are we doing today, Garrig? Shed hunting? Yep. It's the 27th. It is 36 degrees. And we're up on top of this mountain. Archie. And we got Archie balls. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he knows his name. Hi. <laughs> and we're gonna walk back in here, concentrate on these oaks. And look at this trail here. This is a hell of a trail coming across the road here. And they're they're up here on this flat feeding off these uh, red oaks. Um, but this looks like a pretty well used trail. And we're gonna go down in here and see what we can find. Hopefully run into a shed or find some real good buck rubs. Maybe see some deer. There's a bunch of deer down the road. There's some historic buck rubs here. But most of the bucks that I got are still holding. But on this public piece, I don't know. We're going to see what's up here. But it looks like good bedding down through here. And then the food's up on this top. So, thought I'd take Garrig today and we'd, we'd scout this new area. Now, I've never been in this piece uh, within here, so I've hunted down down below. But this kind of looked good on the map, so I thought I'd come in here and check it out. So we'll just split up a little bit, Garrig, like stay relatively close. There's a nice buck rub right there on that pine tree. And we'll just kind of walk down through here and see if we can't find something. Archie, where's the sheds at? You know, we should have brought a, a shed for Archie and uh, kept showing it to him and say, find the shed, find the shed. Hi, Archie. Archie balls. He's on the ice. <laughs> Archie, you're gonna fall through. He's done for it. So what I'm finding here, <clears throat> there's a rub up there, there's a rub right here, there's a rub right here, there's a rub right here, and these are all going kind of a straight line right out through here. So usually you find a rub line like that, you can find bedding where that buck's bedded. So older rub there earlier in the season see this rub <clears throat> well we're gonna go out this point here kind of follow this rub line I'm not real great at finding uh, 
um, sheds, but <clears throat> one thing I do notice right here, these ferns, sheds are found a lot of times near ferns. Okay. Um, it's a food source for them, especially uh, after they get snow and frozen and everything. There's uh, just a late, late food source for them. <clears throat> Look at this over here. There's some real early season rubs. And you got this guy here. They're going right out through here, right out this bench. So there's a there's a buck coming through here somewhere. Here's another rub. Another older rub, another historic rub. What's that? Yeah, find a shed, Archie. Find a shed, Bobbies. Find a shed, Bobbies. <clears throat> you just like walking through the muck, don't you, Archie? It should dry up here a little bit. A little better. Another rub over there. So, over there. So it's kind of going out through here. So, I don't know, we might find something. Either way, we're out of the house. We're learning some new property here. Try to get an idea where we're gonna concentrate next year. Just trying to find sign. Yeah, I kind of like this here. It's uh, yeah, it opens at plateaus right here, but <clears throat> there's a bunch of pines in here, mm -hmm. and uh, those pine trees, you know, in the dead of winter, they'll keep it uh, 10 degrees warmer as long as there's no wind coming through there. It, it'll it'll keep it a little bit warmer for the deer. Uh, you can see there's a lot of ferns right here. <clears throat> this will be a good spot for buck bedding. Well, any bedding, but they'll come in here and they'll eat on these ferns. They'll spend some time here. So I would say we're in a decent spot for finding sheds. And it gets kind of thick. Some of these felled trees... Them deer will bed up against them. I'm sure if we look here, we'll find some beds. That looks like kind of a bed. But they're obviously not going to lay in the water. <clears throat> there was a trail over there that went out that way. But we're going to go out through here, drop down. Go down in this little valley and then come back up the other side. And we'll see what we find here. That's a pretty good rub. Pretty tall. And a historic rub there. So we're on something here. He might only be a two year old, who knows? <clears throat> Archie, move. Quit eating the deer poop. Nice rub here. This is earlier in the season, but that's pretty tall. Pretty tall. Got another rub here on this pine. 
there's definitely bucks coming through here <clears throat> early season maybe or late last year probably the same buck definitely probably not a mature buck but a buck nonetheless I'm just looking for a specific caliber of a, a rub so if you look at this over here right you see pines and then you look at this over here you see some mature oaks which the deer are gonna use these transition lines and that looks like a either a bed or something right there but they'll use these transition lines and this is a little bench that, that filters out into these pines and they'll, they'll use these transition lines right along the edges of them they got their thick cover over here they got the pine tree transition it's a good spot i like it in here lots of deer poop they're coming through here Yeah, they're moving through here. Another rub. I'm just curious. Look under some of these. Uh, yeah, see, there's still acorns in here. That's what these deer are in here feeding on. In here feeding on these acorns. You want to take a bite of one? Try it. All right, then you got some. Here you got a. I think that's a beech nut. They're sour. So that's what these deer are eating on. The beech nuts and acorns. Yeah, not good, right? You want to try a beech nut? They're sour. I don't know. I can't remember. No, not good. Well, you didn't even break it open. Right here. Nuts inside. Right there. All right, so you look here. There's a bunch of deer poop. You can see where they've been digging through here. Red oak, late season food source. Did you find any? Yeah, the ticks are bad, bud. They got me yesterday pretty good. But I'm thinking we're going to find some more sign out through here. There's lots of deer poop here. And it just looks like a ton of activity through here. But these are, <clears throat> these are big woods. Real big woods. Archie, move. Jeepers. Here's kind of what we're looking for. That's a historic rub, but it's been hit a little bit this year. It's another early season rub. Another really nice rub right here. Come over and look at these, Gary. Another couple rubs there. This is more in line with what we're looking for, but still, this is a younger deer. It's not a giant five-year-old that's doing this. It's a younger deer, but we're still running this, this straight line through here. Mean? What's that? Porcupine. Hopefully not a porcupine. Probably just a big buck. Archie, did you find a big buck? Another good historic rub there. Another rub over there. Another nice rub there. They're coming through here. Another historic rub. Another 
another rub. It's a historical rub. What's wrong? Well, come here. Did you get him? Eat him. Then he can't get you again. Another historic rub. So I'm betting this buck, he's just, well, that's a nice rub. <clears throat> this buck's skirting this transition line down through here. Historic rub there. I kind of like this little area. <clears throat> Another historic rub. Here's a fresh, more fresh rub. There's a nice trail going right out this bench, right out through into this transition. And we're still, still right in line. Archer, you see big bucks? He just loves going for walks. Oh, lots of deer poop through here. That kind of really opens up right here. What do you mean? Yeah, just a little opening here. Might be a good spot to sit for rifle season though. And it opens up. Let me look at the map. Yep. Small rub over there. I want to get back into a little bit of this thicker stuff. It's pretty open here. What's wrong? You alright? What's wrong? What's wrong with it? We can go back. Archie, give him a piggyback ride. And some smaller rubs, smaller rubs. A couple decent rubs up here. Going right down into this brush lot where I thought bedding would be. And there's, again, these mature oaks. Looks like someone was sitting here before. There's a chair or something there. Interesting. This kind of opens up right here. What is it? Looks like something metal. Not sure.
Great. Hasn't been hit for a while, but right out here in the open, deer must be coming through here for sure. What are you doing, Gimpy? We're headed back towards the truck. If, if you're going to make it. If I have to carry you, I will. <clears throat> well, it's, it's back this direction. But if you want to uh, guide us out of here, I'm more than glad to let you attempt that if you know where the truck's at. But I don't want to walk back the same path we came in on because I want to see if we can find some sheds on the way out. Oh, somebody just flagged it. Probably somebody hunting back in here. There's another one right there. <clears throat> and then um, out by the road, there were some flags as we were driving up that I saw. <laughs> Another buck rub right there. Say hi. Huh? No, that was me. Sinuses are clogged. Because I got a buck nose. I got a buck nose. Because I'm partially, up, I'm, I'm almost 50% part deer. I can make, I can make buck snorts too and buck farts. Well, they're growing. Looks like a pretty nice trail right here, Derek. Right on this top bench. And so this, this funnels down. There's a, a creek. This is the beginning of the creek right here. That goes all the way down this valley. Like two miles that way we could go public. But Derek had to go and Taylor Swift his foot, so. He's gimpy, so he can't go too far from the truck. But we're finding deer signs, so that's good. Lots of deer poop through here. Another buck rub. I just want to find that giant buck rub. Yeah, there's a lot of deer coming through here. Lots of acorns here. Oh, Archie, did you find any sheds? Yes. Yeah, you what? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them. I walked in the pub yesterday and I had four of them on me that I picked off. Yeah. Then I left. Yep. I left and came, oh yeah, they're all over me. I left and came back and I was talking to my buddy and a tick jumped on him off of me. Yeah, I'd think it. Archie, what's wrong? Yeah, I don't think it gets thick till we get back down in there a ways. I can see on the map this bench that rolls down on, on that side of the creek. It uh, gets pretty, pretty thick and a bunch of pines and stuff back in there. 
but that's kind of where I want to go check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, there's no tree above it that's marked. I think there are turkeys or something in here. Could be deer. It's kind of hard to tell. That wasn't much of a scouting mission. No. What did we learn? Not to have, not to get stitches out the day before you go for a hike. I thought you went the other day. No, I just went yesterday. How far did you walk? What? Did it, did it bother you yesterday? Kind of, yeah. More than today. Today it hurt a little bit. Yesterday it was very bad. Right now it hurts. Fuck it up, Buttercup. I am Buttercup. Watch it one in. <laughs> 